We found the God Particle in 2012. Hold up, let's not dead name the Higgs boson. You know, the particle responsible for giving almost all of the fundamental particles their mass. Anyway, this graph shows the discovery of the Higgs boson by the Large Hadron Collider, the huge particle accelerator in Switzerland. To understand what we're looking at, I need to explain what happened in the collider. It starts with a pair of protons heading on a direct collision course with each other. What happens next is complicated, but the theory predicted that if protons were close enough to the speed of light, that collision might eventually produce a Higgs boson. And being an unstable particle, one of the ways the Higgs boson can decay is through a process eventually ending in two photons, you know, the fundamental particles of light. And it's those two photons that are then measured. Now, there's some trouble here. Lots of other processes can also produce a pair of photons, so we have to account for those as well in any analysis that we do. So there's a lot of experimentation and theoretical work that has to go into figuring out what else can contribute to the two-photon signal and how much. But at the end of the day, what we're looking for is more detected pairs of photons at some energy level than we would expect if there were no Higgs boson. Right, so now let's look at the data starting with the axes. The horizontal axis is measured total energy of the pair of photons from the point of view of their center of mass. This is necessary because if they make any Higgs bosons, it might have been moving, and we want to capture only its mass, not its kinetic energy. The units are GeV, which stands for giga electron volts. This is a pretty small amount of energy on a human scale. One giga electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 10 joules, but these are considered high energy gamma rays. The vertical axis, on the other hand, is merely account for the number of pairs of photons of that energy detected divided by the bin width. For example, if the detector saw 3,000 pairs of photons ranging in total energy from 110 GeV to 112 GeV, we would plot 1,500 events per GeV on the vertical axis at the 111 GeV location on the horizontal axis. Now, the line in red is what they would expect to measure if there were no Higgs boson in the mass range depicted along the axes, and the black dots are the data collected, and obviously there's a small but statistically significant bump around 125 GeV. That bump is the Higgs boson, with a mass of 125 GeV. And hey, that's a discovery.